it if makes you, you stop, laugh. If you stop thinking farts are funny, you're old. That's it. Well, and then that life, tag done video. Yeah, <laughs> life, life lost its luster. Farts aren't funny For anymore, right? Sure. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, we're all 18 years old inside. Oh, at film. max. Yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm like 18. 12. Yeah. I, I like that. You like float. a hard 13, yeah. maybe? On a real day, hard I'm yeah. 14. Yeah. yeah. What's happening, everybody? My name's Ryan at LSK, and welcome back to the Industry Podcast. Today, we are joined by guests Brian and Kyle from AGM Products. So, fellas. Welcome. Thanks for cruising hey, on thanks down. Thanks for having us. us. All right. So let's dive right into it. Tell us a little bit about AGM. I mean, you guys are known for the jacks. That's and you guys are all over Instagram. That's good to know. Oh, it's, <laughs> exactly. No, but tell us a little bit about it. What's uh... um, so AGM actually started as a race team, which some people might know. Um, <clears throat> my partner Martin started it back in the uh, early two thousands. Nice. We raced Class Nine, or he raced Class Nine, which was a Volkswagen power called Volkswagen suspension. Then into class 10, four-cylinder engine, independent suspension, up into class one. Um, I kind of joined the party somewhere along there and then went to Trophy Truck. We tried to redesign the wheel there. It wasn't so awesome. Along the way, we found out that selling things actually makes money. Oh. Where racing takes money. Exactly. It takes the money and it there's the, the hole so, and you just kind of just... Yeah. It, it, well, no, it's, it's, like a, it's more like a this and then into the fire. <laughs> yeah, that's even... It's, yeah. yeah, it's... But... Along the way, we, we took all the creativity that we were doing there and we applied it to solving problems that one, we were having in racing, but then a lot of our friends were having. And out of that came our product line. So in the last handful of years, we've kind of been into that uh, full speed. And that's all we've been doing with the Sweet. socials and kind of coming up with all kinds of stuff. And now, like we were, we were talking earlier, we're, we're kind of going towards the lift and recovery space. So what that includes in the current product line is a series of jacks, like you mentioned, where yep. we have an electric operated telescopic jack. Uh, and then we have a manual version that's like a little more race focused, use your impact gun on it, it's smaller, more compact, lighter. Yep. We've got a series of auxiliary gas tanks that you can put in your UTVs, your Can-Ams, your Polarises that plug in, <clears throat> or I should say bolt in, and they feed into the stock tank without cutting into anything. So it's a real simple setup that lets you kind of double the range. And then this year we have you know a dozen or so new products that kind of fit that mold where we're trying to approach all the problems that you and I and everyone that's doing this face, but from that same creative location or, or, or place. For sure. <clears throat> now, okay, so on the racing side, I remember the green and yellow, was it the BMW? <laughs> yeah. Or I guess what you... It what was, was a BMW on the one? outside. Yeah, I was going to say yeah, the yeah. shell. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so that was OG. And then I'm trying to think, you and I have met before, and it was with the spring sliders, was I think Way OG back in the AGM. day, yep. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, and we still make those. So those... Those started in racing where we make this spring divider that goes between the upper and lower springs on a coilover shock. And we were doing that initially because the stock part fits really loose. It wears out. The springs get this big S curve. They rub into the body. Everything wears itself out. We were having springs break is actually why it originally started. And then we brought this in. It fits a lot tighter. It's a multi-piece design so you can service it and all this other cool stuff. And along the way, we found out, hey, it actually makes the suspension a little bit quieter. Like the squeaks aren't there. Yes. The Jeep dudes jumped on that. So now it's a big Jeep product where the guys, and, and you've had a bunch of friends here, where the guys will, will buy this thing um, to get rid of noise while they're on the trail. So it's got this whole second life now. Yeah. I was going to say, I had a JK that had one of Rebel's coilover conversions mm -hmm. on it. And with that, you know, angle they had the rear shocks at, that was like the biggest thing. Because you mm -hmm. had the King Sliders always rubbed on that one slide. And it's like, oh, no. And then you guys came out. And it's like, oh, money. So that was sweet. Um, then, you know, products come out. But how, like, what's the movement now? So we see you guys on Instagram with arguably some of the best videos. Thank you. They're, they're so fun. <laughs> and it's like, and I, we were talking, obviously, before coming to this. And it's like bringing some spark and some life to a lot of this. Because I know we all want to sit here and here's what we do. But it's like, all right. I know we know what you boring. do. Oh, it God, gets yeah. boring. So and that's like, why the, the jokes and, and Kyle's buying this. And then Max and Sean, who aren't here today, who, yep. who kind of run that department and come up with a bunch of the ideas. It's yep. like, okay, how do we... How do we educate and how do we like still show people that, that it's high quality, that we're the subject matter experts, but it's also gotta be funny because yeah. everybody's just trying to sell stuff and it's just like, ah, I'm bored. Yeah. Entertain me, make me laugh. And then along the way, if we can keep people happy and, and kind of want to engage, then maybe we can drip in some stuff with some education or, hey, this is how you fix this problem or this is how you do that. So. For sure. Yeah. No, and I think that's like 
we're starting to do the same thing too. And, and thank you guys for being a, a bit of inspiration for it. But yeah, it's like, any, any, anything we can tell you or whatever, I mean, we just guess oh, as I, we go. Oh, we don't Corey, know what you we're sit doing. there, you come into yeah. some of them, and you're like, I have a great idea. And then it's like, as you start playing it out, oh, yeah. And it's like, oh, that died. Well, yeah. so Max and Sean know they have something good when they pitch me an idea, and I literally just smirk, <laughs> put my head down, shake, and walk away. Yes. Yeah, like, call it yes. They, and then leave. They oh, know, my God. They yeah. know they're onto something good when that happens. Yes. Yeah. It's not dumb, it's perfect. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I don't want to tell them it's perfect because it's a little far out there, but I still want them to run with we, it. Yeah, your yeah, horse there, are no, there are no limits yeah. for for us. And I don't know where you guys are at, but for us, it and maybe it's just where my brain is and where their brain is is we, we always lean towards sexual, or we <laughs> we always I don't know why I don't know it's Your always like are pretty, but they're not butt, they're not that pretty. butt jokes. Penis joke, like, oh, they always oh, yeah. land. I don't care yeah. how old you are, it's always going to land. <laughs> but it, then, why is that? I mean, I don't know. Why yeah. are people weird like that? Yeah, it makes you, me laugh. If it makes you, stop, you laugh. If you stop thinking farts are funny, you're old. That's it. Well, and then that life, tag, done video. Yeah, yeah. Life, life lost its luster if farts aren't funny For anymore, sure. right? I mean, come on. Yeah, I, we're all 18 years old inside. Oh, at, at max. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm like 18, 12. Yeah. I, I like that. You like float, a hard 13, maybe? On a real day, I'm 14. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, I know. But okay. Well, now that's going to segue into a whole bunch of different stuff. Yeah. Um, all right. So, Kyle, how'd you get involved with AGM? Uh, Brian and I have been good friends for a lot of years. Forever. Um, yeah. Fart joke specifically. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, he and I have kind of flipped some off road cars together and done a few other things together. Um, not, not crashed. He's yeah. found cars well, that we uh, bought. We have and fi- we, did we have crash. crashed vehicles. We have together. crashed. That's okay. But no, uh, he, he's good at finding things. things. We buy them, we fix them, we yeah. sell them. That's Fantastic. what he And oh, then, yes. you know, I've kind of ventured off on some of my own things that he's always supported me on. Um, and so we've just kind of always paralleled each other. And I was in the UTV media game living out in Lake Havasu and wasn't – I kind of saw the end of the road. And uh, they kind of probed at me for, uh, hey, do you want to come work at AGM? And yeah. so I met with him one day. And then as I was leaving, my landlord called and said, hey, you got to be out of the house. And I was like, well – the stars have all aligned. I yep. got to move back to San Diego now, and and it's kind of just going down the road ever since. Um, Dude, and for us, it was huge. We, for us, he, he so <laughs> while he was gone, and he was playing himself down. So he had been a mechanic. He had worked in the UTV space, which is kind of where most everything is right now. Yep. So he understood the cars. He understood the mechanics of the cars. He had done wiring. And then after he got all that done, then he went to the marketing side. Now, now he understood how to present information. He understood how to talk to vendors. He understood layouts and all like all these things that take yeah. forever to get. And we just got it for free. Oh, so you're well, saying, come, actually, come so Jack of come all in. trades. Yeah. This yeah. morning. Yeah. So at, at AGM, we don't believe in titles. But cut it, or we don't yeah, have titles. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we don't have we don't <laughs> have titles. We all just kind of do everything. <laughs> And I think one of, I think my new title, I'm just the head squirrel wrangler. Perfect. Or the squirrel herder. See, you have to or get. Or cat herder. Yeah, yeah if cat you're herder. into cats, cats. Yeah, oh, cats, whatever, squirrels, whatever, whatever herder. Yeah. See, that's like, business cards are still so fun because they're so tangible. And I'm like, as I, I haven't had a business card in years. But it's like, that's the fun stuff where it's like, what would be on herder. yours? What would be on your you business know, card? That's a good one. Because it's like, I, I call myself the sales director. There's no, this is not pop and search. <laughs> there is no corporation. It's just, There's you, no, yeah. you direct the sales. Yes, my crazy head running 500 miles an hour is directing and the direction yeah. we're going. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I always like the, and Doug asked us not to swear, so I can't say it, but the HMF. I see yep. the head mother in charge, yep. and that always worked. I am not that. I just thought it would be funny. Yeah. Um, either that On or a just something. Card. Oh, absolutely. Because okay. somebody would be like, "Well, how long have?" You? And it's like, "No, no, no. I, I am not. I'm at third base at best." <laughs> but having a good time. That's almost dumb. home. What are you yeah, talking I, about? I, this is true. Yeah, yeah, short. of course. Yeah, cruising yeah. line. Um, I don't know. It'd be something funny. I like head squirrel. Wrangler, though. Squirrel that's, Wrangler. Yeah, that's yeah. perfect. That's kind of where yeah. I'm at. Is just trying to keep everybody moving in the right direction, taking his pulling out of his brain and the vision and then just trying to keep all the squirrels headed in that direction. Perfect. Uh, how many guys are at AGM? Uh, between full-time and part-time, are we yep. 10 or 12? Something like that. Some, yeah. sure. See, that is awesome. See, no, we, don't, and, we don't have titles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't know how many people work there. I mean, we're not, we're not worth a lot, obviously. <laughs> But hey, we can make uh, a joke. You know what? No, that's the best because you're sitting there and you're like, we are a cohesive unit and we're like the ball of gelatin that's just going to roll downhill. Yeah. And here it is. And we're coming up. And it's just positive space. So like you guys are fun. I hope you're as fun as you actually are in all the videos 
every day. Well, that, that to, is. So the videos yeah, are just an extension that, of us. Good. There, there's no, yeah. well, there might be acting for me because yeah. I suck on camera, but <laughs> it, it is literally just, hey, what, what do we think is funny when we're all talking to each other? Yes. Okay, how do we put that on camera? And then, oh, yeah, we also have to try to sell a product. So we should probably do that. Exactly. Yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And it's like, I think we have the best, actually, I don't even think, I know we have the best industry out there because all of us are selling stuff that people want to buy. Could you, like, my well, dad. So, okay. And yeah. we also have an industry where nobody is overly sensitive. Oh my so God. So we, we can get yes. away. We have some way bigger guardrails to play <laughs> in between with marketing. And we try and take advantage yes. of that. Yeah. Yes. Who's our target demographic? 18 to customers. like 45 year old. 18 to 45 yeah. year old male, blue collared, works his ass off. Shit, 65. Yeah. Not even, yeah. We, we go even 65. higher. We have customers yep. that are even but higher. But guys that like yeah. to go out and have fun. <clears throat> and so they understand Amen. the humor. They like it's So it's really fun to be able to market to that segment of people and be in this industry because everybody just wants to have fun. Well, of course. Yeah. I mean, and you, you get to be yourself. You yes. don't have to be corporate. You're like, buy my product because X, Y, Z. You can be fun. And then hopefully people like you, then they see the product, they like the product, they understand there's quality. You create this relationship where you're not just selling to something to someone and then you never see them again. You want it to be a family where you kind of bring them into your world. Yeah. They get to interact with you. You send them a bunch of value through emails or through the videos. And along the way, you're, you're dishing them some product that makes their life better. Of course. Yeah, so. it's like my dad sold Minolta copiers. <clears throat> And I'm like, I couldn't imagine. Then That's you hear the stories. Gig. Yeah, and he was like early 90s. I'm like, you guys had, you had way more fun than all of us. And door sometimes, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it? heck yeah. That Man, was the, the cold those calling. dudes were the I'm like, more sales. power to anybody that cold calls. Yes. I'm like, That's I, I it's guess, a skill. If, oh, it is. And it's like, if you got the gift of gab, cool. But also, people, we're all busy. I mean, you, had, you get a vendor that comes by, and it's like, I want to be nice. I got 10,000 <laughs> things happening, and I, I get it. And I know I want to talk on the phone with you because it's fun. But at the same time, like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So. More on that. Um, I know we brought up a point earlier that I wanted to touch on, and I totally forgot what it is, so I'm going to circle back on Perfect. it. Perfect. Um, but race stories. So you guys have obviously oh, been geez. racing for a while. Get, yeah, get, for a minute. Uh, just, a, just a hot second. Give me a couple. Go crazy. But so do you, want, do, you want, <coughs> do you want race stories here, or you just want – think because my, my memory – okay. I generally rely on yeah. him. Like, I'll do it, and I'll forget it, and then he'll tell me, but I'll be like, oh, I was well, no, no. He's like, He doesn't yeah, forget dummy. it. It's because he's crashed one seven too many times. That's fair. And We've he all long on it. accident, yeah. but okay. – Yeah, so that was actually yeah. our last trophy truck race. So one okay. of the stories was – so the, the way that we do racing – or the way, the way we do racing, it doesn't even make sense. When we raced, I raced with a German guy who used to be part of the, the WRC. His name was Armin okay. Schwartz. So Mr. big Schwartz. into the WRC, yeah. Mr. Schwartz, Mr. Black. And he needed rally notes for whatever reason. He needed to know every single turn. He couldn't be like a normal person, like okay. everybody else in yeah. racing, where you had a GPS, you had a handful of notes, and you just figured it out. As yeah, of course. Went. Skinny pedal. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we, we knew. We, like, we had books. Sometimes there'd be races where I had multiple books, and it was every corner, every straightaway, every everything, right? <clears throat> so we have these big books. Heads down. I'm reading like we're always reading. Rear suspension's gotten a little soft. Um, because, you know, we just did some bad setup stuff and we're, we're trying to work out the kinks on a truck that's not working really well. And I didn't have my head up. I remember us hitting the bump, which I clearly had marked. Oh, yeah. And he <laughs> clearly was going letter. to. It's like, why am I even reading this yeah. if you're not going to do what I'm saying? He clearly hit too fast. And I think there's a video somewhere yeah. on it. Um, <clears throat> truck truck bottoms out in the back and it, it bottoms out fast enough and the rear suspension soft enough that the rebound doesn't control it. Back end comes up. I realized that we're in the middle of the roll afterward because I'm reading a book. Of course. I'm, I'm, I'm reading a novel hey, here. Like, why is my gut yeah. in my throat? Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what is going yeah. on? So the, the back of the truck is coming up. I go, okay, cool. We're, we're about to crash. Mm -hmm. um, I look down. I see the headlights hit the dirt because it, it's just dust now. I see the headlights hit the dirt. They turn. Oh, and now the headlights are facing me. This is probably going to be bad. Um, and then the next thing I remember is I'm standing outside the truck after it's rolled end over end. I don't know how many times. We rolled end over end four or five times, whatever it was. My helmet came off in the crash. Oh, no. I got a gnarly concussion. I actually broke my neck in the crash. Didn't find that out until I was taken to the ER in the States. This happened in Mexico. It was a Baja 1000. Okay. So we're hours and hours south. They jump me in. I get to go through the medical lane, which is awesome. I've never done that uh, before. Get across okay. the border real quick. Uh, get across the border, yeah. <laughs> they have a medical lane? They have a medical lane. Okay. No idea. I've been across the border maybe six times in my life. Yeah. Okay. It's also the century lane, I think. Okay. 
So I, I get fast tracked because you know broken everything. Yeah. Uh, get up there. They're like, hey, um, you have a severe concussion. Your eyes aren't doing the things they're supposed to do. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I'm good. having fun. Yeah. yeah. And oh, by the way, um, we did we did these X-rays. You chipped one of the vertebrae in your neck. Um, so it's not really a broken neck, but I just say it cause it sounds cooler. Yeah. And the, the piece of bone is kind of still there now, but it, it trapped itself with cartilage. Um, so that's one story. Uh, another story that was kind of cool. It wasn't even off-road racing. So okay. we did, because he's a WRC guy, um, <clears throat> he invited me to a, uh, it's called a legend rally. It's where all the, it's essentially all the washed up pros. Let's be honest. <laughs> it's all the guys that are pro <laughs> that were pro. They give them like a, like a reunion every year where they all come and these are like really big names, but they've been retired. They all come and they do this race in San Marino. It's, it's inside Italy, but it's its own country. It's a weird thing. What a rough vacation. <laughs> it's so, yeah. and it's so oh, hard. You get pampered, but we'll talk about that. Oh yeah. So we go, we show up, we're a little bit late. We're, we're trying to get done and there's a team that's actually invited us. So they have a Citroen. This is actually, I think Carlos Sainz old rally car. Awesome. So, and Armin was a was a teammate of Carlos's. So there's this whole history. So they put them in this car. I've never been in a rally car, but hey, we're trophy truck racers. We're hot. Well, how we can, we how can, different can, could it be? How hard could it be? Yeah. So the car is parked in a shakedown staging area. I've never been there. Never been in the car. I've never done anything. Mm -hmm. We're rushing up, and as we're going, I'm I'm starting to see the cars, and it's kind of starting to set in. I'm like, this 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 might be a thing. Like I, I don't I don't know what <laughs> I'm doing. Might have bit off a little more Nike and shoe. I may be <laughs> over my head. <laughs> And we're rushing up, and we're getting ready, and I'm like, oh, shit, oh, wait, and okay, now the belts aren't fitting, oh, oh wait, uh, now I forgot my earbuds, okay, I got to get out of the car, where are my earbuds, okay, I got those, you're going to be fine, Brian, you're going to be yeah. fine, okay, get back in the car, oh, wait, okay, the belts aren't working, hey, just give me a minute, oh, yeah. we don't have a minute, okay, uh, uh, we'll get this going, and they're like, just good, don't get, don't get, don't get, 100%, yeah. and they're like, here's a book, read it, and I'm like, I don't know where I'm going, they're like, it doesn't matter, it's just a shakedown, yeah. and as I finally get the belts adjusted right, the guy flags us. I've never been in one of these cars before. And it's all wheel drive and it takes off and it accelerates faster than anything I've been in in my life. And if you've ever driven go-karts, the car also has this like weird harmonics that makes the inside of your body kind of itch. Okay. It makes you want to yeah. cough. So now I, I'm not getting my belts right. I don't even know where I am. The thing's taken off, it's vibrating, I'm coughing, and then it goes over a cliff. And the car, the car drops over the edge of this downhill fast enough that we get light in the car. So now I don't even know what up is from down. So we're over this thing and I'm like, oh my God, what's who and where? And then it hits the bottom and it, at the bottom of this hill and it does this 90 degree turn with enough G-force that I went from up in the belts, which I never got tight enough, to down in the belts and pushed over to my side. He hits the inside of it, goes up on two wheels around the rumble strip and flies up the next hill. We, we, we haven't even got to the top of the hill and I'm still back at the downhill. Like, I, I don't even know what's happening. And then they're like, hey, you need to read notes while you do this, just like you do in the train. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know yeah, where I am. Yeah, what year is it? <laughs> yeah. So that goes along, just like anything, eventually your body kind of understands. You, you start not trying to take in all the information. You start kind of filtering. And then pretty soon you're like, this isn't so bad. And then uh, once we got to race day, I was like, shit, I can do this. And so we got through the race and the other really cool thing, which off-road, please take note, in between stages. So the, the race isn't all at once. The race is these little short stages measured in kilometers. It can be anything from 8K to like 40K. It's, you know, two miles to 20 miles or something like mm -hmm. that. You read all the notes, you do all the crazy stuff. It is the most insane racing. Nothing gets trophy trucks, but so much cooler because it's literally on the edge. You're going in between buildings that have been around for a thousand years and you're this far away from them at a hundred miles an hour. And it is, the turns are so tight. There's no margin for error. So you're getting all the adrenaline. You're like, this is freaking awesome. And then you finish the stage, you go on the liaison, which is just a fancy way of like the roads in between the stages. And you stop, you get to get out, take your helmet off. And there's an entire crew of people there that have chairs and little snacks and cups with straws. Go get your lemoncello. <laughs> yeah, and they're like, are you okay? How was it? You're like massage, and you get to sit there for like five or 10 minutes. It's like a full time out. And then you get back in, they're like, hey, is it good? Do you need anything? What? And then you go get all the adrenaline again, and then you get out and you have your little cupcake. And then you do it again, and then you have your, and I'm like, bro, I could get into this. Honestly, <laughs> the Europeans do it right. Oh my so God. So they got, obviously, I don't know if you guys watch F1. F1's a blast. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. 
that's like pinky out bougie racing. Yeah. You know, when you have got enough money to buy a country with mm-hmm. a team, like okay. And we have IndyCar, which I know I know this much about, so it's like fine. Off road wise, the WRC sounds amazing now. We just get really dirty out in the desert and go really fast, and it, it, it is fun. It is but, fun. And I will say, and and I think it's a little bit because the WRC thing kind of made me soft. Let's be honest. It made me soft because you start going, hey, I kind of like getting out of the car. And a lot of people hate on this, but the road sections in Baja for score, I loved those because it reminded me of the little cupcakes in Italy. (laughs) You got got to stop. I'm in Italy. It's fine. I mean, and you're not supposed to do this at all, but I've already stopped racing, so you're not going to do anything to me. There were some times the road section, I'd take my damn helmet off. And I'd be like eating a snack and I loosen my belts and, and I'm, I'm <laughs> the ultimate coming. red flag. Yeah. No, oh, no. And yeah, it's you're, like, you're in so much trouble if oh. you do that. So I really got into it. And some of those road sections, I mean, there, there was some stuff a little bit further south where you were literally on the highway for 60 minutes. Oh, man. And so, for I mean, what do you do for 60 minutes? You're on you're on a speed limiter. Yeah. There's nothing going make sure, on. Make sure it is on a speed limiter. So yeah. it's not like you're doing 150 that, okay. for 60 minutes. You're, you're at 55 it's, miles an hour or whatever. Well, it's either, so, it's either, 30, there, like, it's either 37 miles yeah. an hour, 60K, or it's 60 miles an hour. Either way, after doing 120, those are both really oh, you're, slow you're and cr- You feel like you get out of the car and you can walk. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You feel like you can walk faster. So we would do that same thing. And breaking those sections up made the whole race more enjoyable. And not only that, by doing that and, and like lowering your heart rate and bringing everything down, I felt with that silly freaking book that I had to read that once you got into the dirt, you could focus more because oh, you got to relax. Came back. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, was, it was like a whole thing that I really enjoyed, although a lot of people hated on it. And I don't know why. They didn't have the same. They didn't. Yeah. They didn't it wasn't get the, the same. Cup, they, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't the get the cupcake. They, well, yeah. yeah, they didn't have the cupcakes and pull yeah. the helmet off and all that stuff. That's fair. Okay, they're following I dug the rules. <laughs> no, yeah, Aaron, we're gonna go racing. We're getting cupcakes at the end of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Every road section, I want cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. Is it Doug? Is it District Thirty Eight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So District Thirty Eight, bring cupcakes. We're having a mid, but mid little ones. Break. Yeah. Little, not yeah. big ones because it's too much to eat. A little one. Little cupcakes. And and something refreshing with a straw. Don't forget the straw. I love every part about this. Oh, I, oh, I did too. It. Yeah, we're getting I did we're too. getting coconuts, little umbrellas, <laughs> and the blue bendy straws. Bringing it back. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. That's wow. Now we're totally doing it wrong. Now my mind, like the clockwork is happening. That's okay. Now. Just that happen. now we can walk through. Do you yeah. want help? I mean, I can tell Honestly, you. Honestly, yeah. At like, this I, point, I got now recipes. Just, yeah, you just it. need to figure out how to go racing at this point so you get your cupcakes. For sure. Okay. So let's. Oh, then it makes eating cupcakes okay, too. I forgot that part. Well, because you're burning like, a lot of calories. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cup, they're not okay. But if you race, you earned it. That's have true. Have a cupcake. And that's something I think a lot of people maybe have like dabbled with watching a YouTube video or something. Mm-hmm. But like when you're inside one of those cars, it's stressful. It's hot. Oh. You're you're sucking down water if you don't already run out of water. I don't know. Like, were you racing with camelbacks or anything? We or, did. And a lot of... Or... or <laughs> and I love the pit guys who would help us, but... We had races where guys wouldn't, like, we would have a water system of some kind, whether it's yeah. it's something with a pump that was really bitching or a camelback. They'd fill it up. Hey, good job, guys. See you later. They wouldn't put the cap on. All the water oh. would come out of it in, like, 30 seconds, and you have no water for the next six hours. Oh, you're just sucking in dust and everything Yeah, terrible. which is cool if you don't have to read the book. I, I think I have a little animosity towards just the book. Just a I little bit. saying the book, but... It, when it works well, reading rally notes was really freaking cool. Well, That's it also sweet. changed you guys reading rally notes and off-road changed the way a lot of guys are now doing it. Is that happening more now? It's happening a lot more. And Sorry then, to or, all the navigators. <laughs> or, they're, or they're putting a lot more extensive notes in the GPS. Dude, it makes it so much safer. Of and that's course. why we did it is, is every blind crest, every corner, every everything you had mapped out. So the only variable was, was you know, a cow – or another car or, or a spectator. Otherwise, you had a real good lay of the land. Makes sense. Yeah. And then did you guys ever come into any issue with like crazy adverse weather that would be like a random washout that you didn't plan on? Or oh, yeah. Like, oh, no, it happens yeah. all the time. Okay. So, you're, so you're still, you you have a plan, and then you get punched. It's Who was it, Tyson? Who said it? You have a plan, sure. then you get punched so you in hit, the face. Yeah. It all changes. <laughs> yes. But you, you kept as much of the original so as you on. could. Yeah. And that, but that is Baja, right? Yeah. You go down there, you're like, we're going to do this. Pfft, nope, nope, we're doing this. Yeah, oh, change yeah. it. Well, and then it's fascinating too. So you go through all the racing mm-hmm. and then obviously have time in your life. Sounds like doing that. Bougie. It was a lot of fun. It was also, and anyone that's race knows it is so much work. Oh, absolutely. And, well, and, prep and then. And it's every yeah. hour. If, if you have four hours, it wants six. If you have 10 hours, it wants 20. And if you have a hundred bucks, it wants a thousand. So it, it, it becomes all of you. But I, the other thing, and, and this is the part I don't think a lot of people talk about that I think is really important 
Um, and it's part of the stuff that we try to do at the shop, which is we want people to do hard stuff. And you do that so you can grow as a person. Well, racing forces you to do the hard stuff because it's not like you can call the promoter and say, hey, we're not ready. Can you push the race back oh, a week? Oh, yeah, of course. The, the deadline is the deadline, and you either show up and you perform or you don't, yep. and you're out. And so it cuts out all, all the chaff. It forces you to become a better person. And, it's, and I feel like racing provides you with a skill set that you can't get almost anywhere else because it's, the stakes are so high, because there's a deadline, because you need to perform, because really results are all that matter and effort is rewarded. Now you have something that gives you something you can then take and use in life. And I know that's what we did. We took, we yeah. took all the stuff we learned in racing from the creativity to the hard work um, <clears throat> to the being resourceful. And we've applied that to the business now. Um, and and, and I feel, like it. I feel yeah. like it helps so much. That's sweet. And then also product development too. So yes. obviously a huge portion, I, as you stated, was we race, we find the pitfalls, we find things need to be worked on, or you get the chirp from other guys saying, man, I wish somebody would come out with this. Yep. And it's like, so. And that's huge. And, and I, I wish, I encourage more people that are customers or that are in there, talk to the businesses that, okay. that, you, that you like or that you work with. Because I know you guys are, people are, they're responsive. Absolutely. If you talk to them and you have a good idea, they're going to use it. And then maybe you get a free one. I, I don't know on the back end what it is, but you can have a direct effect on your industry. You just have to spend two minutes and put out the effort so that you're heard. For sure. And if the company you're talking to doesn't respond, forget that, that company. Yeah, you the company's a waste of time. Yeah. yeah. Go to another one. There, mm -hmm. there are so many companies out there that are, it, it's a passion, just like it is for us. I mean, we came from racing. That's how we view the product line. So we're, we're passionate in that way. But we can't do it by ourselves. Yeah, we we need the community to tell us all the areas where, where where things are falling short, and then I mean we act on any good information, whether it's a new product idea, or it's a hater let's on be, social media. Let's be and honest. You can talk let's to let's that. be yeah. honest. We act on bad information until we realize it's not going to go anywhere, and then we pull back. That's yeah, I mean fair. he he it's, it's gotten to the point now where where Kyle will send haters T-shirts. <laughs> yeah. If they, okay. So yeah, if let's, they have, let's dabble on this. Inst, instead of most of the haters are like, oh, your product's too expensive, or oh, you know, that's rich man's game. Like they're not creative in their hate. Yeah. They're so, not constructive. Yeah, 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 they're not constructive in their hate. So every once in a be while, constructive in <laughs> every once in a while, we get somebody that will be constructive or creative in the way they hate our product. And I'm like, you're getting a shirt. Perfect. I'll DM them, or I'll sometimes, uh, sometimes Max will do it in the comments, or we'll DM and be like, hey. Great comment. What's your address? Send you a shirt. Yeah, you're 100% yeah. right. We're going to work on that. Perfect. <clears throat> and then I was like, the, your product costs too much. That's something that if you've never gone through the process of <laughs> trying to make a part, trying to make a <clears throat> fidget. This is before you even to, make profit. Yeah. Just make the part. Just make the, well, make the part to where it's it, it can be scalable or you can make more than one. Yes. Because you always, yes, there's always a way to make something cheaper. In it, your it, garage for yourself where it doesn't need to be reliable. It doesn't need to be user friendly. It doesn't need to perform at a certain level. Oh, and you don't need to make any margin on it. Exactly. Yeah. And then anyone can do that. Oh, and then just the engineering behind it, the time, the failure. That's another so one I don't think anybody time. talks about is how many parts have you guys made? How many sound, iterations? Oh, there's God. dumpsters full. Oh, absolutely. Rev A9. Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh, okay. We're on that with the... two products right now. I think oh. we're like nine. We're the nine. It's every, literally for us, we go into product development. Assume, not even assuming, we know that the first 10 versions of it, we're just going to throw away. Yeah. So all of that time, and it's months sometimes. I mean, it's sometimes we can come up with a product and from beginning to end, we're a couple of weeks, but those are really simple and they're normally yeah. accessories to something a else. When it's, that hold, yeah. Yes. When it's a core product, when it is the X travel suspension, there are months to make it work with something. And we're like, we just start off knowing there's going to be 10 versions of this mm -hmm. and we are going to suck for a long time. But what we bring to market at the end will be the culmination of everything we've learned there, everything we've learned from racing, everything people have told us on social media, and everything that we feel internally is the absolute best product that we can send. And sometimes that costs money. Yeah, absolutely. Or and it's time. one of those like, again, so you guys do a lot of stuff. Well, I'd say most of it, U.S., right? Yeah, everything. So U.S. made product. That's the fun. There's, there's a people. couple new. Oh, yeah. There's a couple, a couple new, new products, things. which of course, and that's because yeah. we're deal. We're starting to deal with. Um, OE manufacturers and we're starting to deal with like two-step distribution where it's like yep. a, a major warehouse that's selling it to someone else that's selling it and the only way to get them the product they wanted 
is to outsource some of the manufacturing. For we, sure. we want to keep as much here as possible, but literally the only way to get that business is to do that. So that's what we had to do in those, in uh, those instances. Quick, sure. side, quick side note. Yeah. Brian, Doug would probably appreciate if you stopped hitting the table. Was I hitting the table? <laughs> it, might, it might have been. Oh, I can't well, I'm stop making, his role. Okay, yeah. well, it's, we should also, <laughs> if we're side noting, we should also pause and reward Doug for the amazing lighting of this plant. <laughs> Because I don't know about you guys, but I have never seen foliage lit in such an amazing way. I mean, dude, 10 out of 10. Five stars. He's sober. Five stars. Sober, by the way, kids. Sober. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm new. What are, I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't want to stop him. He was he was on a good one. Okay. I have no yeah, Don't hit the table. Him. Don't cuss. I got it. I'm going to figure this out. We're good. We're good. We're I'm good. Waiting I am for the one, just the one hammer. No. Um, God, sorry. I'm cracking up. Now I'm thinking about the fun. You guys are fun. It's like, where are we going? We don't know. I don't know. This is literally every know. day. Uh, We're all, every we day is just. <laughs> we share an office and it'll be dead quiet. We'll be working. And all of a sudden, somebody will be like, hey. And then it starts, and then by the time it's ended, it's so far tangent into weird. Yes. Tons of wasted time. I'm so Tons happy we're all the That's same. That's probably here. why yeah. we have to work so much, is because there's a lot of wasted time on yeah. dumb tangents. No, literally, literally, it's 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 sixty to eighty hours a week, just because we can't figure out the forty hours. <sighs> Us ADD kids are yeah. on the yes. same boat. I get it. Yeah. No. So uh, let's think. I don't want to focus on one thing, but obviously these Dude, hey, these, these jacks. It's your show. It, it's one of the, it's your show. I'm just here to party. Yeah. Um, it, so like the jack stuff. What was the precipice or reason for coming out with that one? What were what you guys was the using? Genesis. Yeah, oh, that's a big oh, word, there right? We go. Yeah. yeah. What was the? I looked it up a couple minutes ago. Oh, I was so <laughs> Give me the big word. The wordle has no chance the today. Wordle. Um, so like, what was? What culmination led to developing that? What was the... So it actually started, and this is not the current product, but it started as a hydraulic system that was mounted on board the Class 1 car. Okay. So we had issues. We we had different portable jacks in the past, and these were um, electric impact operated jacks. And for one reason or another, whether they weren't that adjustable or when you would put them in, they could potentially fall off the car. It just didn't work for us. So. Yeah. Martin came up with an onboard jacking system that mounted in the car, ran off the power steering. We called that later the Dakar jacking system because we ended up having a lot of people that were international racers, Dakar guys. Mm -hmm. That's where the majority of our customers were. So we had that. We were at a UTV Worlds race. I think it was UTV Worlds. And there was a customer of ours that was like, yo, I want that on my UTV. And we're like, that's a great idea. But there's no power steering on a UTV. Yeah. So I was like, okay, well, maybe we can do it with electric. <clears throat> so um, we went to a development partner uh, that we still have uh, locally, and we're like, hey, we want to do an electric version of the hydraulic system so that UTVs can use it. And originally, we were thinking we were going to mount it in the car just like the Dakar version. Mm -hmm. And what we found out was it actually makes more sense because the travel is shorter. We wanted to make the unit more compact, that it, that it needs to be portable. So the mount on board version went away. It became this portable unit, and now we're like, okay, well, it's portable. Uh, now, how do we how do we engage the car? Okay, yeah. well, we had the issue early on where we would put a pin in with the other style jack, and it would fall off the car because there's nothing locating it. Yeah. So we're like, okay, we need to fix that. So we we designed a weld on jack point. We call it, which is this diamond shaped. It's a biscuit. A biscuit. It's, 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 a, little, it's a, a little biscuit. Bit, a little biscuit. biscuit. Everything yeah. revolves around yeah. pastries for us. It's food. We're, we're eaters. <laughs> the Great <laughs> British Breaking Show of Off Road. Yeah. Enjoy so your we biscuit. get this. We get this weld on jack point. The best place to put that is on the suspension itself, because then you don't have to lift through the travel. Because mm -hmm. at this point we're still racers, so the faster you can do any. Yeah. I did it again. You did it. Sorry. Again. The faster you can do this, the better. So we have this weld on jack point that goes on the car, and then we're like, okay, well, you're going to put them at different right. heights. How do we engage yeah. this to the jack? And this is another one of those where you don't really know where you're going. You just know what the next step is. So it, in those iterations we talk about, so the next step was, okay, well, how do we make this adjustable? How do we make this work? Well, it'd be really cool if we had a collar that adjusted on the outside of it infinitely. So it rotates 360 degrees. It slides up and down. In this case, the final version was 17 inches of height adjustment. Awesome. And you can clamp it as you go. So now I can attach to the front suspension or the rear suspension in the moment. I don't have to like loosen Allen's and like 
spin a collar or like move things and ratchet it, I can just adjust it and go. So, all right, cool. Now we have the weld on jack point. Now we have the adjustable collar. Now when we lift the UTV, the car is mechanically connected to the jack. So now you don't have that issue where it falls yeah. over. And what that means is now the guy can lift to do either a spare tire change or he can do a repair. And if he goes, oh man, I forgot my tools. He can jump on the car, grab what he needs, pull it back down and not worry about the car falling off. Yep. So that was the genesis of that product. We've since created a universal hook for the guys to either have really bitch and powder coated suspension or, or they want to lift in a place where they don't have a weld on uh, jack point. And now they can pick up anywhere. And what really was cool from there is, hey, now we have this hook. We also have this electric jack where you don't need to put an impact on the top. Let's put a mount on the top. Yeah, and that's fascinating because you have like the M12 battery packs from Yep, so it's, it's either Milwaukee or DeWalt that powers it. Awesome. You flip a switch, this battery or this thing runs up and down. So now all the stress and all the anxiety that a lot of like weekend warriors or, or, and we actually saw this with a lot of ladies um, who are maybe a little worried about like having to be really strong to change a tire. Now anyone could change a tire with the flip of a switch. That's fantastic. And we thought, okay, well that's cool, but how do we make this better? So we mounted a, we call it a V-Groove top cap. Because you don't need an impact, because it's a, a motor on the top, we have this channel on the top. So now you can lift from the top of the jack too. Oh, and we just got that patented. Nice. Not that long ago. Go, oh, so don't steal a, the idea. Yeah, patent pending. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, patent, not, not patent pending. That is a fun project. Oh, yeah. 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 Not patent, patent pending. Patented. Patented. Ha having gone through it, I have I have one patent. Yeah. Boy, it's isn't that fun. And we, we'll, we'll circle yeah. back to that here. So a now with that hook we talked about earlier yeah. and this top mount, now not only can you use the thing to change tires or to service a vehicle, but if you run out of talent, you put it on its side, you put it on its roof, now you can roll it back on its wheels by yourself. Fantastic. In five minutes or less, which... Doesn't sound like a big deal because people are like, and you get this, you get this yeah. on social a lot, right? Oh, I could just flip it over by myself. Sure, yeah, okay, Hulk. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. take a three thousand pound car because by the time a four seat can am is done, the thing's three thousand pounds plus for sure. And you do, you take that, you put it on its side. It takes a lot more than one, two, uh, yeah, six dude, guys, four, to five. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. we went on a night ride recently, and well, it was like eight of us to get a four seat can am with all the accessories flipped all the way over. Yeah, basically a skinned. <clears throat> Tacoma. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, nuts. So and crazy. and and the really cool part about that is obviously you you put everything, you put all your passion, you put everything into building this product, you put it out there, you hope it's gonna help people. The really cool part is when we start getting people calling us or sending us back, like, hey, thank you very much. Sorry, Doug. <laughs> for <laughs> for this product. He's a big hand talker. That's okay. For, I know. I'm not even Italian. I'm not even Italian. Are you sure? I, yeah. We're talking about cupcakes from Italy <laughs> for the WRC, and then we got sitting here in a bunch of, you like it a bust? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I, <laughs> um, but we, we get these we get these guys coming back saying, hey, I was out with my family, and we were in this, we were in this canyon. I just did something dumb. I rolled it. I, there was no one around. I had no cell reception, but luckily I had this product and I could put it back on its wheels. And we had another guy that actually came in and bought one directly after the weekend that he was out testing. Done testing. This is always when things go wrong. He's done testing. He's just going to do a quick loop because oh, it's for fun now, right? The confidence has peaked. He yes. puts it on its side. I don't even know how many miles from camp in a canyon again. He's stuck out there till 2 a.m. Oh. He cannot get the thing back on its wheels. By 2 a.m., he finally, luckily he had water and stuff, so he was okay, but he finally gets it back on its wheels. He gets it back on the trailer, and he drives right to our shop and buys a jack because he had seen yeah, the videos. Yep. He knew that it did it, but he didn't understand the value until it happened to oh him, which God. unfortunately is a lot of why people buy stuff is they need to experience pain. <laughs> I think it's better just to watch the video and go get it, but, you know, how, however you get to where you got to go. Oh, my God. Yeah, guaranteed that thing was added to cart a couple times. It's like, maybe, maybe, yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, all right. So you got the jack. Mm -hmm. Then the external fuel tank. That yes. is that is a different beast. Totally different. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to, we, like I said, we are all over the place, whether it's in the office or our initial product offering. We were like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. We're going to make that. We're going to, and we're just totally scattered. We are now well, trying to it, wrangle. It wasn't scattered. It was. They had needs. Yeah, yeah. it was needs the industry needed because there wasn't a good solution yet. Yep. So everything that has been created that we've created so far, Brian's created, is is a product that the industry needed. Whether it was a shop tool to hold your shock correctly without dinging a shaft, whatever it is, like yep. it was needed. And unfortunately because a lot of things were needed in various directions, the product offering was scattered. And what we what we found is 
people need things to be simplified so they know what box to put you in, right? They can yep. hold you as a company in their brain as this guy does this. And our product offering was so wide that it was like people know us maybe for one thing or this guy knows us for this, but everyone together either doesn't know us at all because we're a small fish or they don't know us for the same things. Yeah. So now we're like, okay, guys, we, we got to kind of herd the squirrels. Mm -hmm. And so we <laughs> try to... <laughs> business card. Business card. So we're trying to bring it all in under a lift and recovery banner mm -hmm. so that we're, we're going to own that space where now when people think of us, they think of lift and recovery. That occupies that space in their brain. It takes very few calories to remember us. Whenever yep. they're having that issue, that's who they go to for those things. Perfect. So that's, that's the direction. The EXR fuel tank line mm -hmm. doesn't seem like it fits in the lift in recovery um, side of things. Tell you but, run out of gas. Yeah, tell, yes, you, tell exactly. you run out of gas. I was going to say, yeah. So tell you run out of gas in the stock tank or the XR tank, which you've burned a lot of fuel at that point. Mm -hmm. But what it does have, which was a necessity from Baja, was it's got a lip, just a little tiny petcock in it. You turn the petcock, you you attach a hose that comes with the kit. The buddy you, hose. Yes, yeah, yes. the buddy hose. Good name, oh, right? Oh, that's and you can, you can literally fill your buddy's car, somebody who's stranded. So you get somebody that's out stranded on a trail. They call you. They're like, hey, I'm out of fuel. You jump in your car. You run out there. No no hanging exterior cans over the motor. Nothing yeah. to catch fire. Yeah, nothing, none of that stuff. Perfect. You just run out there to your EXR fuel tank. You flip the switch on, and you pump fuel into their car, and everybody's happy back to campaign. That's fantastic. So that's kind of how that pulls like, into that, too, because yeah. a lot of people don't – they're like, well, that's that's not lift or recovery, and it actually is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're we're filling in to kind of talk about the product offering. What we were talking about earlier is, is we're filling in more products in the lift area. We're filling in more products and more applications with the with the tank, and then we're also bringing in other products that are more direct to lift and direct to recovery. And then we're trying to put our big boy pants, and we're trying to go now after fire, and we're doing military stuff awesome. and ag, and we're talking okay. mining. So trying to branch out too so that we can offer those things to different industries. So oh, it's a yeah, little the, bit of everything. Yeah, it's like, it's not really pivoting, it's expanding. The it's expanding are, and you need yeah, to. And, and everyone right. keeps talking about it. it's winter right now and it's it's gonna be bad and there's the economy. And, and whether it is or isn't gonna be bad this year, I feel like you can always hedge your bet by diversifying. Absolutely. And, and doing that into other industries. So that's one of his big pushes. Um, he's got even some Homeland Security stuff that he's working on Sweet. where we're trying to get into these other places with something that we know works because <laughs> it's so been clear. proven and off-road. We can't talk about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, we didn't We didn't, We didn't. didn't say that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doug is going to have a nightmare at Oh, <laughs> He'll be fine. It's just this, like talking and all of a sudden just this mute and a bunch of things. And it's like... Beep, 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 he beep, can just beep, bring the audio yeah. level of that down. It'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> the, the random plug of something yeah. thrown over it. Yeah. Um, Okay. Well, now that we can't talk about that, because I was really excited to talk about that for a second, I guess we'll take We can talk about back. it. I can just lie. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead oh, and ask me a okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there, and it's like, is he, is he full of it? Yes. Okay. Well, Most no, of the there. time. Yeah. All right. Well, then, besides that, what else are you guys coming out with that you want to talk about? Because I know there's always, we all have the grand ambition. Like, we're doing this. And it's so like, the develop, so that's, that's the yeah. secret, right? Yes. Yeah. And here's the deal. In the big scheme of things, Telling someone before something comes out, it's coming out, is like whatever. But the issue that we've had, and we learned this with one of the last gas tanks we did, is we're like, hey, everybody, this is coming out. Check it out. Pre-order. And we did that. And then it yep. took us longer to make the product than we thought. And then all of the yeah. people that yep. wanted it were like, hey, jerk, where's the thing you told me I was going to have two yes. months ago? Yeah. yeah so we, we had, we had R&D done, and mm -hmm. we were in production when we – officially launched to the public this product and we ran into a few issues and that and we delivered 30 days late not a oh, year late not that's very we delivered manageable. 30 days late it was more than 30 oh. days oh yeah was it yeah that's okay, okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, like, I, like his, was, I like his version it yeah. was we yeah. delivered yeah. a little late oh, it wasn't man. it wasn't years late it wasn't a year late like it was yeah. a month or two or three whatever yes and the calls of hey where's our product hey we ordered this hey, we the table. i'm not hitting it <laughs> I want to hit it so Light bad. hands, bro. Yeah. Light hands. Um, <laughs> the calls we got, hey, we ordered this. Where's it at? Like m us having to apologize because we screwed up somewhere. It taints the brain. Yeah. It's, it, it's a horrible we, feeling. Well, and yeah. we, we also took you it. You feel very, like you're letting people down. We and took it very yeah. personal. And so that's what there's there's not a lot of R&D that's talked about outside of the office. Yeah, because our, our goal, yeah. our overarching goal, outside of trying to deliver the best product that we can make, is from the very first touch point on social 
<clears throat> we're making you laugh, we're engaging, hopefully we're providing value, we're entertaining, and we're giving you like the best experience we can there. And then as you come into our world, whether you come into a funnel or, or whatever it is, we're, we're trying to, through the buying process, educate, we're sending emails afterwards that, that are kind of funny, but also telling you stuff, we're sending videos that are a little bit silly. Then we're putting people into like nurture campaigns and we're selling them like, here's, here's these tips and here's this. And we're trying to constantly provide a ton of value all the way through the process. And when we tell people about stuff really early, that doesn't help. Yes. So we're kind of quiet with the I, development. I do not yeah. blame you one bit. Yeah. It's like we come out and it's like, we're stoked to have this thing. It's like, when's it coming out? This day. And then this day shows up and you're like, <laughs> oh, darn. Uh, <laughs> I should probably work on that. <laughs> yeah. And it's just kidding. And, and again, coming back to try making a product. It doesn't cost that much. It's not yeah. It's not that hard. The amount of times I've heard, it's not that hard to do this. Oh, oh, Ky come, Kyle's come offered on in, people friend. money. Yeah. So people online have said, oh, I could do that for a hundred bucks. And uh, you or Max or someone has been like, fine, we'll pay you. You do yeah. it. I want to see it. Show, show, me, show me a comparable product yeah, for you X get, You build a comparable product and if and you show me all of the receipts. If that happens, mm. I will give you the money and I will buy the product from you. Yeah. <laughs> He'll take the product for the money. I, I, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fun. Yeah. Now yeah. I, I, I kind of want to <laughs> see somebody do it. Not, we want not, someone to yeah, take that's us up Not on like, the oh my gosh, they made it for that. But just to see so, like what hodgepodge. And what's it look like? Yes. Well, we can or how long does it last? So, yes. Or you can look at it from a different perspective. Imagine a dude just real good in his garage, or he's got a pretty badass garage, and makes an incredible product. And we're like, well, damn, we didn't think of that. And yeah. then we now have to be better. So either way, value. Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Because so, it's like that in redneck engineering. It's amazing. I'm the king like, of it. Uh, I, uh, there to me is nothing better. I don't than know. Hubert, Hubert's pretty good. Hubert, yeah, <laughs> Hubert beats me every day. But Hubert, Hubert's pretty. I don't know how to fix anything, when it comes but I can to make fixing it happen. stuff on the fly. Oh, I, to me, it's just it's amazing because we're all car guys, we're truck guys, we're tinkerers. We like you know we're gonna figure something out. There's nothing worse than like I need to do something to X product. I need a specialty tool to do it. Honda, and, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like no. I'm going to figure out how to do this with some slapstick thing. And then there you are like five hours later, you know, you've gone through like five pounds of scrap metal. You've broken three tools. Yeah. And was it stuff. really worth it at the end of it? I mean, come on. No. What, what is your time? That's the other part that we try to tell people is I don't think people value their time as highly as they should. Cause it's literally the only resource we don't get more of. Absolutely. You can make money. You can do all these other things. So when, when the guys say these things, it's like, yeah, but, you're not taking your time into factor as well. Yeah. And 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 maybe their time isn't worth as much. But I, I value our time and everyone that works with us time sure. highly because you don't get more of it. So it th there's just parts of the equation that are hard to convey over a DM or a comment <laughs> yeah. to help them understand the errors of what they're actually saying. Yes. And let's be honest, sometimes there's just no making them understand. No, they just no, want to be heard. And you they can't make people happy, too. Yeah. That's another one that it's, I think, so like sales, mm -hmm. which you've done sales. I'm sure you've done. Like, I want to try to make everybody happy. And that is impossible. Because it feels good, right? It, it, yeah. That and it's like, you've gone through everything that exists out there and you want to run our product. Mm -hmm. I, I want to make it as easy as possible for you to have our product and be happy about it. And then stuff happens, whether it's, you know, coding's late, something's wrong. It, we all make mistakes, it's something like that. And then it's just like, such a gut kick feeling. And it's just like- Cause you feel like you let yourself down, you let them down, it sucks. Yes. Well, and it's also thanks Amazon for having shit to your and, door overnight. Uh, and that's- uh, That's and I, changed the game. You wanna talk about that. How, how have yeah. you guys dealt with that? So Are you doing free shipping we, and all we that have, kind of stuff? No, so we've done this much of it. Okay. Um, we put our set of X3 doors on Amazon mm -hmm. and one of our owners van went through the whole process. Well, we got to talk up. to you about that because we haven't touched the platform yet. So so we uh, baby toe into the pole. Um, we're actually, yeah, we're going to be using, um, I think it was PRP recommended them, right? For piranha. what, Piranha? Yeah. yeah, so a full blown suite and they do all the like load. In, yeah, we yeah they, they do the full, yeah. full load and it, it, is, it is expensive. Mm -hmm. They're you know, and, and you've yet to determine if it's if and, it's valuable yeah. for you guys. And that's one of, like, the hard thing is, so you guys took a walk out in our shop. Yep. Our boxes are giant. Like, you do yeah. a well to yourself. Amazing kids. shop, by the way. I, I don't uh, know that you guys give tours, so yeah. I don't want to offer people tours. We, we do need to do one. That we <laughs> should do yeah, one. Yeah, you should. Yeah. It's It makes us, we're very envious of the amount of actual free floor so space. Because ours are so You got a little cramped. bit of elbow room yeah. to go throw around. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a bitch and complex. And it's more, yeah. I say it's a complex because it's more than one building. Yes. And you got, and, and I know we're tangenting a million different ways, but... Pulling up, I was impressed by even what you guys did with the facade, with the different color blacks and the angle. Like you, you see right away from the moment that you're on the street, 
that this company cares about quality in every facet of the design. I mean, even the building yeah. was important how it looked. So totally cool. Kudos okay, to yeah. you guys. Really cool. <laughs> yeah, and that's another one that I some, geek out on how yeah. buildings. Oh, for sure. And then it's also tough because people come in, they're like, well, you're LSK. Well, yes, the, the umbrella is Lamer Street Creations, mm -hmm. but we have LSK Suspension, which we're, we're – Debating if we want to keep LSK suspension, we're going to do LSK off road, like no, something more kind of, in general. Like, yeah, because we've because that allows you more more room. Yes, yeah, yeah. so it's like so that we have sense. LSK on one side and then we have Cal West Manufacturing on the other. So some people come up, which and, is crushing too. We were over it, there too. It, yeah, and there's it's, all it's, kinds it's, of cool stuff. We going are not bored here. <laughs> we are very busy, and it's and it's also amazing. And like for product development, you know, take for us, we can sit there and it's like you know we got Aaron and Van and Anthony on the computer designing stuff, and it's it's amazing the amount of from turnkey thought. To a first article can be in as little as a week, yeah. which uh, no, the turnaround is crazy, and the yeah. end products that we were seeing over there are also really high quality. It's not like the iterations we're talking about. We're yeah. like, that's junk. You can never show anyone that. That yeah. needs to. Get and burnt. we have done those. <laughs> those are not like totally not. It's like we, this can never see the light of day yeah. because everyone would laugh at yeah. us. Oh, okay. And we've had some where it's like we're all excited. It's like this part's perfect. We like we're ready to go. And then you go pull in a truck. You go to test fit it, and it's like, nope. Oh, oh, that frame file was very off. You know, or like whatever stuff yeah. comes up, and that's just the reality of product development these days. But I mean, I also look, so like, when did AGM start making products as like its own entity? So, so, so AGM, we were in, we incorporated in <coughs> 2008, but we didn't start really focusing on products alone in 2000, until 2017. Okay. So in 2017 is when we're like, we're all in. We had, we had stopped racing off-road as AGM in 2014. Um, there was a couple years in between there where we did some repair shop stuff. Um, we opened a, a small company called All Auto that, that complemented Martin's original business, All okay. German Auto, which yep. is where the name originally came from. Oh, that's right, because you're All German Motorsport. We were All German. Uh, we, we just weren't creative, okay, and you yeah. know it was already there, so <laughs> that's the name. <laughs> so that was the interim, and then we were like, hey, uh, turns out we've been renting for a really long time, and this kind of sucks. Maybe we should go make the products that we were selling before. So yep. in 2017, we went all in. Um, those repair businesses got sold. That became my full-time gig. And for a long time, it was just me doing all of it. And we're trying to make ourselves, you know how it is. You're oh, trying yeah. to make yourself look bigger than you really are. Of course. And you're like, oh, yeah, our team and everything you say is like we and us. And so now I'm in the habit of doing it because you're trying, when you're at trade shows or things, trying to make people that you feel are outside your league believe that you're this giant company, yeah, right? Yeah, and I'm even still blown away. You guys said 10 to 12. Again, thought you yeah, were, we're way tiny. bigger. <laughs> no, we're tiny. We're tiny. Yeah. And and so, um, <clears throat> brain is so I, all over I, the place. I, I, can't I even, love it. Okay, it's just God, so, God. so, yeah. Um, so then that, uh, in 17 is when that started. Then actually, I, we got some assembly help because it, it was getting to the point, or no, Max was first. Max. So, uh, okay. Uh, our cinema overlord, because we don't have official titles, cinema overlord Max. I'm hiring you guys we, to come up with our names at the shop now. This is so perfect. We that's that's a I think he named himself yeah, right. He named himself. Yeah, he's cinema overlord. And then Sean, who you guys may or may not see in the other skits with with the curly hair, is Thunder Monster. So that's his title. Doug, we're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so that's Max so together on, they're he, cinema monster. Yeah. So Max came on. Max Rad. actually worked at okay. Target, and he was a teenager. So then it was Max and I. Max wanted to do video. We pulled him over. He still had the red shirt, the khaki, the khaki yes, pants on. Yes, we have a Cody outside do that you? came from Target. So yes. Yeah. They, they put yeah. out good people. Yeah. So we got Max <laughs> Come over. Come from Target, friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Accepting applications yeah. now. And Max and I started doing videos. And it wasn't until we hit on Reels. So when Instagram first came out with Reels, yeah. I read an article about how Instagram was starting to promote this. And if you got onto Reels now, it was wide open. It was blue sky. Yep. And the chances of you getting boosted were really high. So I was like, Max, I don't know what the heck these Reels things are. Just make it happen. But we got to do yeah. it. And he's like, okay, uh, well, there's a car here. There's a jack. Let's let's just go lift the car. I'm like, that's a great idea. Let's go do it. And then uh, that begat. Uh, where, where are those views now? And the views oh, are getting stupid now. Well, yeah, but it was because we took advantage of that really early on. Smart. And well, that blew the company up. Was it so the it went from us to... A dozen people now. Yeah, and did it, was it the response to TikTok? Is that why Instagram did the whole yes. real yeah. thing? Yeah. Yes. And now we're watching TikTok almost get shut down. So now it's like, well, yeah. okay. Well, it's really football. funny is I, I, when I came on board, I, I am not a big social media person personally. What? 
I actually don't <laughs> like it. I think it's, I mean, if we're being honest, it's the downfall of civilization. Of course, come but on, anyway, we want a bunch that's... of people just doing stupid no. shit. Yeah. No, that's the downfall of civilization, but that's personal opinions. Um, I was anti TikTok for a while, and then uh, yeah. I was doing a lot of reading and a lot of research, and I found the demo. I just thought it was a bunch of kids. Teenagers. Yeah, of teenagers. Well, it used to be musically or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the OG. And yes. so, I, like, I just thought it was a bunch of dumb kids doing dumb things. And I read a bunch of articles. Which is so ironic, because that's literally all of us. It, it, <laughs> our, like, <laughs> so, anyway, sorry. Go yeah. ahead. on. But... <laughs> I was like, there's no way the demographic is is 13 to 60. Like, that's yeah. just not possible. And I remember sitting at dinner one night, looked over at the table next to me, and the family, mom, dad, kids, were all on TikTok. And I was like, no. Which also, by the way, dysfunctional. Yeah. Put your phones down when you eat food. <laughs> yeah. PSA, put your damn phones down when you eat <laughs> Spend food. Spend time with the family. <laughs> okay. Um, and I was like, that's not possible. So I, I okay, just... Okay, dad. I, I, I just you, started Can you looking. tell? I, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> I just started looking more, and I saw older adults on TikTok, and I was like, okay. So I was like, hey, Max, can you start a TikTok? He's like, yeah, I have my own personal. We'll get it conned. Yeah. Within three months, we were over 100,000 followers. It blew up, dude. Oh it was crazy. God. We're like, like, and then you start getting dopamine hits. You're like, how many people? Yeah. It's done what? How many views? This thing's awesome. Okay. Yeah, it yeah, was it, like, it just on a kinda, rocket ship, and it might have been a little longer than three months, but it was a even very still. short time. Him and time, he's yeah, kind of not. That's, that's okay. So, which is crazy yeah. because when I, when I organize things, I'm very time. But yeah. He's just, in, he's, in my he's, brain, he's, it doesn't remember. Yeah, that's he's okay. timing optimistic. Yes. That's, uh, he's that's timing it. optimistic. Yeah. And, and that's where it's like... Keeping people happy was the under promise over yes, deliver. Yes, it's yes. like I, I think I have it written on my whiteboard in there. <laughs> and it's, it's just he's like, good at that yes. too. He's really good at yeah. that. So yeah, and, and we did it, and Max did a really good job of getting in all their algorithms and doing the sounds and the things that the yeah. things all the happen. trends, yeah, the trending sounds, um, yeah. And it blew up, and we only follow Ryan Reynolds. So yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So it worked. <laughs> And you then, brought it around. You and brought then, it around. And then, uh, yes. TikTok, brought it back. and then TikTok reached out and they're like, hey, you guys are doing a really good job. We want you to keep doing this and we're going to we're gonna compensate you for it. And I was like, wait, what? We getting paid. What? How is this even possible? You're so, getting beer money yeah. Yeah, yeah. from hosting I, Let's be honest. Yeah. It ain't a lot of money. Uh, no, but it, we can yeah. supersize. <laughs> yeah. We can supersize we can su- our Happy Meals. But only oh, once a month. Fit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friday the 27th yeah. is the day. We are we're going there. to McDonald's. Yeah. We're like, it's like 27 cents or 38 cents a day. Like, it's not a lot of money. But the fact that they reached out and they're like, hey, we want, we want you guys to make more Amazing. of this. I was like, oh, my gosh, this yeah. is working. So it was really fun to see the evolution of all the social media and continuing um, – yeah, it's just it's been a wild ride on the socials. Yeah, and now I, I let's so if you didn't catch that, Ryan Reynolds is the only follower. Cause how funny is that? It's it's and the besides, KFC Ryan of Reynolds off road. So if you didn't know KFC, I think it's on Twitter. So they follow seven gentlemen named Herb, and then the Spice Girls. <laughs> Wait, like what? Yeah, literally. that's a thing. It's seven herbs and amazing. spices. Oh my god, yeah, that is amazing. amazing. So, so, but okay, amazing. which it like, yeah. But just Ryan Reynolds. Now yeah. it's like, just start tagging him and everything. Because because we we, yeah. we we bro crush a little on him, like well, him and not? Maximum Effort, the media house or the production company he has, and the yes. writing teams and the way he delivers. I mean, come on, the dude's the dude's pretty good. Y- yes, Ryan, reach out to us if you want. Yeah, to I, uh, yeah, about come on it. Over. Yeah, he'd probably just be like, yeah, dude, he just guys- sold mint. He's got some free yeah, time. <laughs> come on down, dude. One point four billion reasons to come hang out with us for a little bit. I'll buy you a coffee. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, okay. so it's, it's we can been... use the money to supersize for him. That's yes. true. Yes, <laughs> you can supersize every day. <laughs> yeah, with that kind of money. Yeah, well, Ryan, we're money. taking you to breakfast. Oh, we're taking him. Yeah, we're taking him. Yeah, yeah. He, we'll, he's we'll, the only we'll one. We'll work on the details. Got it. I am. I'm so envious, Doug. We got to start unfollowing everybody now. <laughs> and it's not that we don't like <laughs> yeah. people. I mean, it's, we want to follow everyone, but isn't it kind of funnier if it's just one person? I'm I'm doing the the bad thing of pulling my phone out during a thing, but I have to I have to see this. And what's funny is I follow you guys, and I don't think I ever noticed on Instagram. Yeah, it's TikTok. I know. I know. Oh, Instagram, okay. Instagram. We run the normal program. It's because we've had Instagram for a long time. We just I'm, started TikTok, and we're like, "Hey, what would be funny?" That makes following sense. one person would be funny. Well, who do we like that's funny? Well, it's got to be Ryan. That is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, so, you guys the, are on a first name basis now. Yeah. Oh, you don't. You don't. He doesn't call you. Nah. <laughs> oh, well. Mr. Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Well, now we need. 
Now we yeah, need to we're, do something like fun like that too. Okay, I know. I'm, okay, I'm like okay. Coming back to Amazon making it difficult in this industry. <laughs> hey, yes, well done. Yes, um, couldn't agree more. It's one of those things. So like we do, we're FedEx. We're mm-hmm. big proponent of FedEx. They've just worked out well for us. It, actually, because like That's our surprising. largest box, yeah, ninety three by twenty three by six. That is that it's is a, a giant box. box. I am so sorry to every FedEx driver that comes <laughs> and picks us boxes. Like it's, I get it's a nightmare. But then you look at two day shipping. I, I'm. You can get a box this big in two days. Makes sense. You get one yeah, of those things. Or, yeah, or like long travel kits. But regardless of how hard it is for us to ship something like that, the hard thing is the mentality's changed with a lot of customers. So you'll get somebody It's an that's, expectation. Now. Oh, like, what do you mean there's a lead time? What is a lead time? <laughs> Why is yeah. it what not is at my door time? while we're talking? Of course, yeah. <laughs> um, I can get this one overnight. Yeah, and it's like we've had... You're like, or, do you understand the laws of physics, like, at all? Yeah, or just the, like... Yes, it's amazing. The technology's gotten there, but what is like? No, you're not yeah. going to get this in two days. I would love to make it happen. I can't. Um, and if people aren't into it, then it's like okay, it is what it is. That that so. is our goal, though. So one of the things that we strive on when we talk about the best experience that we can provide all the way through all the touch points is, and we've been spending a lot of time. And Kyle actually changed roles in the company, and he's doing more stuff with production right now, so that we can yeah. make sure that everything is in stock for that instant gratification that you're talking yep. about. That way, if they call today, they call before 2 p.m., it leaves today. Oh, it's 3 p.m., by the way. <clears throat> we just we just gave an extra hour. Here, you get a first today. We just gave you an extra hour. You mean everything <laughs> better go out today? Yeah, there it is. Sitting so just, 3 p.m., yeah. it goes today. And then the other thing that we did, and this is what I was asking you about free shipping, is mm-hmm. we went through and we looked at, okay, what stuff do we sell? What are the price points of all the things we sell? Where can we offer free shipping? Yep. How can it be advantageous to compete with the Amazons? Um, it started out at $300 or more, you could mm-hmm. get free shipping. And then we're like, well, wait a second, between $300 and $200, there's not a lot of things that don't have the margin to allow it. So we're like, okay, yep. we're dropping the price. So Perfect. now it's $200 for free shipping. And we try to, doesn't always happen because yep. the world's not perfect, yeah. but we try to ship stuff same day because of freaking Amazon. Yes. The big so, ugly head of mul- yeah. or, you know, current yeah. retail sales. And, and I mean, amazing for them. I mean, they, they've literally reshaped the entire industry, but it takes a little work for the rest of the little guys to kind of catch up to yeah. that. And then I crack yeah. up. It's like I talk. So we have a couple coworkers that are in their early 20s, which is terrifying to think. Like, I was born in 2000. Oh, like, <laughs> Like, come on. But and it's like, it's gonna I, happen yeah, and so. I remember going on Amazon to buy books in college. Because that's that, what it did. That's that's literally what it was. And then people mm-hmm. are like, oh, no, it's this, you know, massive thing. And now, you know, Bezos is going to the moon or whoever the heck's going now. Um, and, and then Elon we're all just, him, but yeah, that's fair. I know. A Papa Elon. And he can come. Well, no, they both come back now. That's right. But he lands his on water. <laughs> no, let's see other people do that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, no, he, it, but he's close. He's almost like Jesus can do the on water thing. He still has to have a platform, but it's on the water. He's like a half a step away. Or he's if, a what, yeah, do, one do you think Jesus. that's why he did it? To be a half a step away from Jesus? Yeah. I mean, if Elon you can. was just like, bro, I'm going to be like Jesus. Yeah, just, I mean, it's not Elon blasphemy. He's I, just, he's trying to emulate, right? It's, it it's a good be. thing. It's I a mean, good thing. I, I, to be honest, everything aerospace all that stuff is fascinating. It would be rad to even just be a fly on the wall during some of those meetings because you know they sat down, sitting at the front table, going, "I want to reuse that thing," and everybody was the like, engineers are Hell like, "Hell no!" Well, imagine. Like, I'm sorry, chance. what? <laughs> yeah, when you're yeah. when you're in a meeting preparing or doing logistics for a race, like there's a fair amount of stress because there's a lot of things going into it. Oh, imagine yeah. being in a meeting trying to go to space. Base. <laughs> yeah, it's where the tiniest little thing. And then you pull it over to when you land it. Yeah. Come back. And yeah. then, hey guys, um, can we just make this like Uber and use it over and over and over again? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like if you were just going to launch anything in space, you could probably get a bunch of rednecks together, and we could probably that figure out another power <laughs> yeah. Yeah. to get something to yeah. just leave the atmosphere. Yeah. All right, Bubba, we get enough <laughs> propane. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Hulk Hell yeah, there. brother. <laughs> Hulk Hogan is proud somewhere. Yeah. Uh, uh. But yes, it's uh, it, it's fascinating to see how everything's changed in the industry, even in like 10 years, yeah. how different the shift's gone. Because it used to be like us in the suspension side, you used to buy a kit that you, most didn't have them on the shelf. I would say most people that had them on the shelf would have been like Camrick. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, they did a good job of having stuff and then, Yeah, high you know, five Jerry. Yeah, Jerry did well. Uh, yeah. And now it's like this amazing mix of, we want it yesterday, 
And then, you know, for us, we rely on other companies to make parts that, you know, supersede it. Shocks are always, and it's like, you know, there's a few that people want to run, and some have insane lead times, and you got some newcomers that have great lead times, and mm-hmm. it's like, they're not as well just, known, or yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. and that's, I mean, so like for you guys, how many of your products work with others in the industry that you have to? be like have some symbiosis with so ours right now and correct me if i'm wrong ours are all standalone awesome and they're all meant to to add to something so it Mm -hmm. they're the the only requirements that we have are on materials um or if we're working with someone else that's like a designer and manufacturing partner because some of that stuff we're just not capable of doing in-house right now Mm -hmm. um so we're not tied to other companies that sell a product retail which i feel like helps us because that means our vendors aren't as high viz they're not getting as much direct business to themselves yep so that leaves a little more room for us oh perfect so that's been kind of nice i i can't even imagine with especially with shocks because shocks and, and I think it's getting better now, right? But it wasn't is. there times where it was like 18 months oh, or yeah. something like you know, that? So it's like, <sighs> thankfully, it's the ones that exist now and made it through a lot of the stuff are great companies. Mm-hmm. Everybody makes good And better ones. for I mean, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's one of those, so like we were almost exclusively king forever. Great products. N- nothing outside of the fact that, you know, I'd call to order one and be like, um, well, uh, you'll see it in like 14 to 16. I'm like, weeks ain't bad. Months. And it's like... <laughs> You huh. understand that's a different oh. year, yeah, right? yeah, exa- yeah, yeah. We're <laughs> going into multiple years yeah. coming up, and it was like an interesting obstacle to overcome. And even like COVID was nuts. So we had, I would say, almost a, a dual throw with COVID. Mm-hmm. It was nuts because certain things weren't available, and yet all of a sudden everybody was sitting at home going, "Duh!" Yeah, and they wanted a ton of stuff. Yes, just for they had something the money, to they do. They had free time. A yeah. lot of the people, and I'm sure you're in the same. Our demographic does well enough for themselves that they weren't really hurt by COVID financially. Yeah. I mean, everyone made a little bit less money in, in some industries, but everyone's like, bro, I got all this free time. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do this. We're going to go on this vacation. We can't go to restaurants, so we're going to the desert. Yeah, yes. we're going to the desert. We're going to go ride. Like, yep. They're going to get out and do stuff. Yes. That's when our business blew up yep. for us. And, and same, just, same boat in us. Yeah, and it was it was a weird turn because it's like, you know, you see all this chaos and everything happening on the back end, and then we're sitting here like, well, our chaos is internal because all of a sudden we have this huge demand that came out of nowhere out of something that none of us were planning on. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's fascinating. And now you get to learn processes. You get to learn procedures. You got to learn workflows. Like there's oh. all of these boring things that are so necessary. Yes. If anything's going to leave the building. Of course. Yeah, yeah. And every meeting you have, you're like, I just want to talk about fun things. <laughs> yeah. And then they're like, well, we need to talk about production on this part. And yeah. Like, and on. this is backordered. And this isn't here. And we did this wrong. Oh, and that's made wrong. And, you, and you're like, OK, OK. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, that's it. I've fallen asleep. Yeah. yeah. It's Monday around 500 now. So it's, it's good. good. And we're getting better at it now. I mean, you, yes. you can't, as long as you don't give up, you can't help but get better at those kind of back yeah. behind. I was going to say back door. <laughs> behind <laughs> the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we do? We just Great just course in Johnson Valley. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trail, trail Johnson Valley. Yeah. Yes. That's, yes. Yep. No. And it's a interesting segue into how much we've all grown too in that time and it's like i'm stoked to see everybody doing well we're all in the same boat it's like yeah and it's not a zero-sum game no there's always something so much room for everybody i don't understand the people that are like if i don't get every sale you know all you guys can go suck it we're like bro there's there's so many people that we can sell to that that other people that make products that are similar they can sell to and if they get to sell hey dude good job we're all here to kind of lift the entire industry for sure and the more of us that are kind of making creative products that are that are reinventing that are doing that are like x travel there's more things there's more options and the more we educate the customer the more excited they are the more they tell their friends the bigger the whole industry gets heck yeah the, we only, con- the only constant is change yep and in- innovation's awesome and you guys crush it with the and innovation it's so stuff. fun it's it so is fun well it's just some spark into it because it's mm-hmm. like okay there's only so many ways you can make this product or there's just so many ways well here here's this whole new gadget that just came yep. out you know and we're lucky. I mean, you look at other things, and it's like, I know I was talking to you guys earlier, it's like, my dad sold printers. And oh, it's my like, God, and that's so hard. I have uh, so much respect for someone that has to do a job that requires that much effort, that much focus, that much engagement, and not love it. Yes. I mean, whoa. I mean, we have, like, you get somebody that call, and, like, I say this in the best way. We'll get customers that call, <coughs> and they want to talk for 30 minutes because they're so damn excited about whatever they're working on, which is great, but it's like- And how, wait, 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 pause. Okay. How do you deal with that? Cause I, cause there, I, I need to know. Okay. <laughs> I, so I am, I'm a chatter too. I love talk. Like if you get somebody where it's fun to talk, 
normally I, I'm at least lucky enough to where there are so many inbound phone calls that I have to put people on hold and I have to knock this out. And I'll tell people, and I'm good at where it's like, look, if I'm slammed, I'll be like, I totally want to talk to you about this more. This is a terrible time. My lunch is at 11. Let me call you when I'm on lunch. Mm -hmm. And that's another one that's weird little facets of way you can interject that like some people are all about that. If you're able they still to feel heard. Yes. You call yeah. a company. And I don't know if you guys have this, but like you call somebody and they don't answer the phone. Like I, a couple of companies, like I'm looking for parts for mm -hmm. something and it's like, I can't get a hold of them. Yeah. It's fail, impossible. Number one. Yes. And it's like, well, you, you've already lost that potential sale because that's gone. You know, we... Again, we're we're small. LSK is very small, but we have. That's the same for us. So yeah. if 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 there if everyone that's answering phones is answering phones, and there's literally no more phones, yes, we're gonna miss calls. Of course, and that's yeah. one where it's like I tell everybody leave a message. If you leave a message, I'm absolutely gonna call the number back. But it's and I don't know what this and is. And we even like, get the messages as, as emails with a with a voicemail in it. Do you get yep, that too? Yes, and I'll that get like the text message ways. Yep. for sure. And then yep. I crack up because it's like I'll call somebody back and this voicemail box has not been set up. It's like it's 2023. <laughs> we have to figure out how to do this. People. I should check my phone. Yeah, I, I, I just <laughs> did it automatically when you got a phone. Yeah. I didn't know you had to set anything. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I, I haven't set up my phone. I don't know if mine does that oh. or not. Yours does. We're I leave voicemails all the time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We, okay. I crack up because that's like a couple But it is people. crazy. Or the voicemail box is full. You're like, what is going on? Yes. And we'll get people. It's like, I've been trying to go hold of you for weeks. And it's like, how? Like, yeah, you do you do call that a little bit. You're like, hey, guys, and, come on. And, and I'm one like, absolutely. Like, here's my number. Call me right now. I'll answer the phone. And then they it's just like. Again, you can't make everybody happy, but mm -hmm. we can do our damn best. Yep. Yeah, we try. And and uh, so the way I try to look at it, originally, I started out in life generally very pessimistic about a lot of things. So the way I switched that is, hey, this person is willing to give me their time, back to time being very valuable. Yes. They're willing to engage with me or Kyle or Naveed or anyone else that's answering the phone. And how cool is it that they're willing to spend their time with me and in turn, I can somehow either impart some value with regard to our product or like Kyle did the other day where he literally helped somebody go buy a stock fuel tank that had nothing to do with any of our products. Mm -hmm. And so I always have to tell myself that. But when it gets to like minute 30 or 40 or 50, I'm like, man, this is really awesome. Yeah, <laughs> we, 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 gotta... need to, we need to write in the ship. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, but that's. That's our industry, though, because we want to help. I think yes. that's the other yeah. thing. That's and, like... and how cool is it that it, obviously when you're helping like that, it, it's not as scalable as, as reaching out to people different ways. But yeah. it's really cool because you get direct feedback from your help because it's literally the one on one. You can send the message. They can receive it. They can provide feedback. And, it, and it's so information rich. And it's also really rewarding. So you don't want to not do it. For sure. <clears throat> yeah. I know. It's just, we have some interesting customers in this one. You know, and that, I, I, that's like, we could go down like a five hour yes. conversation oh on just, God. okay. And I have you dabble. noticed, have I you noticed how some of them, like, some of them will start with, they're talking to you about the product. And then five minutes later, you find yourself, they're talking about your neighbor's kid's lawnmower and how that person went on vacation, but it's okay because you got to watch it and you're like, what just happened? It's, it's so spot on. And it's, I, I love it, but it's, it's the South. People in the South have more excitement of talking about stuff. But I like, don't you like the accent? Oh, I love for the sure. Accent. Yeah, I'll sit there and I'm like, oh, this is a trip. Putting that one on speaker. I'm like, come, here. come on in. Come on in. <laughs> and then just the, again, our redneck engineering. We love you, Southern friends. Thank you. I I, I want to go to Mud Nats one year. Oh, dude. Oh, like if you have he was never, a regular. If you have, have never, never gone, gone mudding, no. I had the opportunity. Can Am was like, here's this four seat mud car. Do whatever you want yes. to it. So six inch the portals, high 37s, huge stereo. It was the most entertaining thing I've ever done. And how far did you travel in the whole event? Four miles. Tops. Ten miles. Maybe. And you spent how many days? Days. Dude, it's it crazy, was, right? It was, it's so different. Yeah. It was yeah. so fun. It was, have you ever been to Glamis, especially in the heyday, at Comp Hill when it was just out of control crazy? Yes. That's when you could go to Comp Hill. Yeah. I was going to say, like say, 2000. They that down. Like 2006. Yeah. Six, or, seven. or you go to Olds when that it was used crazy to be, too. Well, no, let's stay there. Stay yeah, there. Because that's where it used to be. They would bring stages out and they would set stages yep. up at comp. Yes. There would be vehicles that came out with poles and there'd be all the nice single moms oh. doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. you got to support and single moms. That's, that's true. Yeah, and it, it, it would get very loud and sometimes very X-rated. And on top of all that cool stuff, you had Robbie coming alongside the highway and like jumping sideways across the hill and there were fireworks and all this stuff. And you like it was such a thing and you didn't need to go anywhere. Take and that's all of that, put it in mud. Yeah. When you step out the car, oh. you're knee deep and you're in mud. 
and it is one of the wildest things I have ever experienced, and I want to go back. Okay. Yeah, I was calling. We're going. I, I want to. It, it is high on my so list of just the one thing. Wait, I think do you have a plan? No. <laughs> I'm gonna figure Step it out. One. Yeah, so we're gonna do it. The one yeah. thing I yeah. would recommend is the arrive and drive program. Find somebody who's got a car that you could just get in, go have fun with. Yes, because it gets like the cars get so muddy and so nasty and so absolutely disgusting. You don't even want to wash it. You just want to walk away and be like, "Okay, that one's trash." Just light it on fire and yeah, leave it. Yeah, that one's trash. Oh my god! Like yeah, the tractor days, tires of just days of pressure washing to get all the mud out, and it's still never all out. Yeah, okay. more power so, to him. Just it's like a totally it different is world. By far the I, yeah. He's I he's been turning me around too because I'm like mud. Ah, we would try to avoid mud. Yeah, but of course, he keeps yeah. telling the story. Yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe it'd be kind of cool. <laughs> we're finally getting real weather out here. Where we actually have rain. Exactly. And it's like we're gonna have mud mats. Right. Yeah, and West Matt, Coast. Max yeah. didn't believe me for a while either, so I was like. Like, all right, fine, come back to an event. So he, I think he flew back or drove back to an event with me. And he didn't even get to go to the fun one. He got to go to kind of the serious one. And he was just like, what is going on yes. here? Like, I don't. So it is, it is glamorous in the 90s. It is glamorous in the 90s in mud with rednecks. And it is. It's basically it's Christmas. Yes, it is. It's absolutely yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> and odds are you're going to see Santa there. There's going to yeah. be some dude. He'll be and paint, paint the scene. It's a pontoon boat on a monster truck chassis with a stupid dude, reindeer plastic to the front. There is there is Polaris razors rolling around on like 70 inch tires. What? Yeah, because yeah, they got the portals that are like. Well, no, no. These uh, were these were like oh, full full solid axle swap oh, deals. Okay. But it's still a Polaris and a Polaris <laughs> motor driving the things. How? It, and you, but you don't have to go fast. It's all about gear. Is there is, is no going fast yeah. in that. It's yeah, just, well, I guess things, it's four miles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Things pinned, and it's like watching a water wheel on a little <laughs> sawmill go by. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it was. It, uh, it's so hard to explain how amazing it is. Okay, so, I'm about it. Yeah, yeah I'm like, Bud Nats is one. Jeep Beach. I don't know if you guys have done any the of the Jeep thing, crowd. Florida. Yeah. Oh, class. Is it? Daytona Beach is fun. So really? just just in general, that little, is not my bit experience of, of Florida. Real okay. Yeah, pretty much any month, it's um, bugs, it's yes. humidity, yep. and to some extent, it's old people. Okay, he's so also bougie. That's <laughs> cupcake. Cupcake. <Yeah. laughs> I'm gonna save your number. My phone is Brian <laughs> Cupcake. Yeah, but like, so Jeep Beach fun, Florida. It's day It's just a mess. We like the mess thing, and then yeah. obviously glamorous. Yeah, so we've never been. So you got to give okay. us like a little bit of what. So that Daytona is. Beach is. Mm-hmm. Let's take a bunch of fun biker gang, biker bars, mm-hmm. and then take a bunch of posh Jeep people. No offense, any posh Jeep people. These are the mall crawler. These kinda... are these are the mall crawler for okay. for the most part. Mm-hmm. You know, we got a ton coming from mm-hmm. the you know upper East Coast, making their way down for the summer trip. It's April. The weather's nice. You get to drive on the beach, which is. That's kind of cool. For Can us you out do here, that normally or no, not there? Not there. So okay. it'll be normally like a sanctioned so event. So it's like a special I, thing. I think. I don't, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, as far as I know, it's a special thing because they do like a truck invasion too where they have all the, you know, I don't want to call them donk trucks, but the. Yeah. yeah. I know what you're they, saying. Yeah. 24 inch wheels, yep. no tire. And then you got Jeep <laughs> people, <laughs> which are rad. And it's just a party. So like our industry is lucky because we have all the facets of partying and all the facets of fun events because we have like SEMA. Mm-hmm. Which I don't even want to call. Do SEMA. you guys do SEMA? Uh, so I, we always walk it. I say so we walk it. Yeah. We don't do it because I, it, I, don't, I don't see a lot of value for us. No, and it's it, that's one where you spend so much money on that booth, and it's it's like you got Ford out front. There's like twenty million dollars in space out to. there. You used oh, to. Oh, what do they do now? That's they done. were at yeah Ford yeah, dropped out this year. Well, because they're getting into Formula One. They're putting yeah, I say a lot of the manufacturers. Oh, I lost pulled. it. Man down, Part- Doug. I've never done this. I feel like this is somewhat of a train wrecky podcast. And That's I'm totally, how we I'm roll. totally okay I with have, it. I, have I think a it's a huge okay. bottle of tequila in my office. What? It's organic. It's it is organic. organic. Are, it's, we, are, we doing, it's, are we doing shot sex? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I was going to, depending on how crazy you want to party. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so it's like, it's fun how much our industry likes to get together. Yes. So, like, I don't. It's all about fun. Oh, yeah, again, we're selling fun products or useful products to make fun more fun, you know, and it's. Recovery. So nobody wants to deal with. Nobody wants a flat tire while you're out there. But it is funny that our products are the products no one wants to use. Yeah, but at the but same they have time, to have. I, I, tell me, I'd be so excited. Let's see who's in trouble. You have to tell them why you're Dude, laughing. Okay. You have so to. we have we have signs on all the entry points to the podcast room of like we're filming till X amount of time, which I actually don't know what time it is. That might be why it's past whatever I wrote on there. We're doing. We're actually doing really good. Um, 
And so we have a sign that says, you know, please don't enter because we're filming podcasts. But we get a special guest every once in a while, and it makes it exciting. Well, so, and the funny really part was he walked in and did exactly yeah. <laughs> what the impression that the duck did earlier yes. was. Like, uh, verbatim. Uh, <laughs> we're just making it exciting. It's, it's just Juan. Juan was... Yeah, he's coming in a big old smile. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's like it's so cool to see how much we all want to come together and just hang out and have fun. Yeah. So that's sweet. And then, sorry, back to the point. Products that nobody wants to use, but at the same time, if you have to use them, it's enjoyable because it's not. Well, it's made so, the job easier. Uh, so, the whole, so you get back to having fun it, quicker. It comes, yeah, it comes back to time. So time is always the most valuable thing. We've already said that. If we can make products that make the stuff that's hard easier, one, and make it faster, so you can get back, then we've done our job right. Perfect. So that's that's kind of the everything summed up into one thing. Yes. Well, I like it. And you guys, again, crushing it on the product development. Thank everything you. you guys make is super cool. We run it. Obviously, we have one of the jacks on Aaron's car that we're thank about. You. So that's sweet. Well, guys, thank you so much for cruising down. Seriously, it's fun. I know we can get into like five billion stories. <laughs> I was saying, we can and go, we can I'm go trying so you hard, want. And I'm like, oh, I don't know how far we want to go. <laughs> Doug's looking at me like, come on. But... <laughs> No. So it's sweet. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, we got Brian and Kyle from AGM Products. Thanks Check them out. Us. Follow them on Instagram. You guys have a YouTube? Uh, yeah, AGM Products on YouTube. Um, AGM-Products. Oh. At AGM-Products on Instagram. AGM-Products on TikTok. And AGM Products on Facebook. Sweet. And AGM Products agm-products.com for the website if you want to grab any of our stuff. Perfect. So. And make sure you follow them so you can see Ryan Reynolds is their only follower. Yes. And thank you guys again. Follow us. Check us out on all the other industry podcasts we've had, all the mile markers, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.